A bizarre call of a man jumping rooftop to rooftop ends with shots fired and two officers having to be rescued. The neighborhood near Carpenter and Packard Avenues was told to shelter in place for several hours overnight. 12 News' Madison Moore joins us now live. And Madison, fortunately, no one was hurt. Yeah, Joyce, a SWAT team was able to get those officers to safety. Eventually, they gave the all clear. But then just a few hours later, a couple living in this house behind me on Summers Ave found a man hiding inside their attic. They held him at gunpoint until police arrived. Came, came home from work. I opened my back door and I saw a bunch of insulation from my roof, from my attic on my kitchen floor. We thought an animal was upstairs and it turned out to be a armed felon with a, with a pistol. A scary situation unfolding Monday morning. John Jay, who didn't want to show his face on camera, found a man hiding inside his attic on Summers Ave. What did you hear that made you think, okay, there's a person in my attic? He said, my name's Robert. So he announced himself. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then what happened? I pulled my gun. I am a licensed CCW weapons holder and I pulled my gun. I pulled him out of my attic and I held him at gunpoint until the police showed up. What was he saying to you? I'll give you $300 to let me go. Cudahy police arrived within minutes, taking the 36-year-old man into custody for burglary. He appeared to be suffering from a broken leg. Police say he also had drugs and a stolen gun. Less than 12 hours earlier, police had responded to a call for broken glass and a person jumping from rooftop to rooftop in the area. Officers say when they arrived, they heard gunfire. Nine dust. I, I don't know where the shots are coming from, but they're just to the east of us. I need everybody here. Call mutual aid for anybody that's got an officer available. I don't know where the shots are coming from, but that's the second shot that was just fired at us. Two Cudahy police officers had to be rescued from their position by the South Shore Joint Tactical Unit's armored vehicle. Do you think that last night's incident and this morning's discovery of a man inside an attic are connected? We're exploring that possibility. Uh, the individual in question stays at the residence with the broken glass and where the individual is seen jumping from one house to another. Shootout, Madison, in that attic. Now, police tell us that the 36-year-old man was out on parole at the time? Yeah, he was out on parole for multiple felonies, Joyce, including a hit and run involving great bodily harm, as well as homicide involving a dangerous weapon or explosive. Now, John, the man that did find the 36 year old in his attic, he says while he is shaken up from the shocking discovery, he's thankful that no one was seriously hurt. Understandably shaken. All right, Madison Moore reporting live in Cudahy. Thank you.